So, you guys have just... You know what? Everyone's dead now. <laughs> um, well, shit. Here we go again. I knew Adam hated this group. <laughs> <laughs> it only makes sense. Um, so, uh, you guys have just left uh, the desert. You are back uh, on track to the city of Alaron. It has been a couple days, obviously. It's a, it's a, far, it's a far trip from uh, the desert to the city on the map that definitely exists that no one has ever seen because we don't have the medium for it. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys are... Um, you guys do have... If you guys want to, you can have a conversation before you re arrive at the city. If not, I can just jump right in. I uh, Just jump right in. Okay, cool. So, you arrive in the city of Alaron. The birds are singing. The, the walls are crisp and clear as always. The city is beautiful. People are laughing. They're having a good time. Nobody knows about the catastrophic journey that you went on and, and the uh, ultimately world-ending events you are trying to stop. Um, as usual. Uh, and this is kind of just where the cart has left you. Uh, and based on uh, the words of the uh eric last episode or um you were told to come here <laughs> fucking eric. to, <laughs> what to meet guy. one of your friends i guess um so yeah you guys are just in the city of alaron now or you are at the city of alaron if you guys decide to go inside <laughs> well you know who my favorite friend is here in the city of alaron that we you should mean that, that one that was killed by the fish monsters no well, he was okay, killed by the my, hey my, guys let, let's go visit slug friend. knight yeah <laughs> Is it Slug What did you say, Paleus? I was gonna I was gonna say let's go visit Slug Knight and then um... Oh, so yeah, yeah, both of you. Um so Well, I want to see uh, Davos, but okay. <laughs> Davos was which guy again? He was the... the the drunk one that we had a drinking game with and was like, let's go buy a fishing boat. Oh, oh right. yeah. I thought th wait, wasn't that in episode two? That was in episode three. That was like three, I think. That, that was, was when three? I was telling oh, a sad God. story to uh Peric. Yeah. It was a bit character from 10 episodes ago. Oh, yeah. this is true. Yeah. <laughs> God, I wasn't sure which bar he hung out in. <laughs> anyway, um, makes sense. The city where he is from is it's surrounded by force. So why wouldn't he be next to the, why wouldn't a, like a lumberjack be in the city? Never mind. Fucking who cares? Yeah, um, it makes sense. No, this is so cool you guys uh, decide to wander around the city and just kind of, I guess, hope to run into Slug Knight at some point. Um, <laughs> that seems after, like a good strategy. After a certain amount of time, um, <laughs> the, the, the familiar clomping of very, very heavy armor um uh rings to your ears despite all the the noise of the crowd of people in the marketplace um and you see the familiar um short uh statured figure of slug knight um obviously chris and post can you make my voice a little echoey with this to yeah, kind of represent the, the helmet um uh slug knight walks up to you guys and um seems surprised to you uh oh you three it's been how long M it's three months? It's about ten episodes. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that unit of time. It's actually interesting that I've run into you. I... I don't... This is gonna sound weird. Have you guys had any strange dreams lately? I mean, we were dead for a little bit. That was kind of like a dream. We've had some I, pretty I, strange realities lately. Yeah. I'm sorry, you were dead? Oh yeah, super is dead. Stranger than fiction kind of thing. Uh huh. Um. Well, uh, I uh, I had to, have been having a particular dream. If uh, and she uh, kind of leads you over, trying to like make you walk with them to wherever they're going. Um. So that it's like you're not just standing there in the middle of the marketplace having a weird discussion. Um. I uh, I have been having visions of uh, a, a golden gauntlet. And th the sky is raining fire, and 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 people are screaming, and the earth itself opens up, and g g I would say giant skeleton centipedes start pouring out everywhere. It's 
I, I don't even know what to call it uh, other than, I guess, uh, like Doomsday itself. Uh, you know, w what my people call it is uh, Ragnarok. Uh, and, I mean, it's not been... Uh, I mean, it sounds like you guys have been on quite the adventure, but uh, it's not. it has not been easy since uh, we last parted ways. Um, uh, granted, I have not died, obviously. I don't know how... You have died and are still here. And it got better. Mm hmm. We made anyway, a, we made a deal with this crazy octopus man, uh, Mind Flayer, I it, believe. I feel like this is a lot to dump into a conversation of a person we just reunited with three months ago. I mean, yeah, and, they and, asked. And Slug Knight, even through their armor, you can see, like, like you can basically tell like sweat pouring down their face this is a lot to sell someone especially like someone who knows that mind flares are not good news um <laughs> oh yeah eric's my uh just a my, casually uh, my patron now we're, we're okay, tight. jesus okay signed a, signed a contract <laughs> okay oh i guess i'm a disciple of Livlash now i guess so that that's also the going the fire goddess yeah Oh, well, Slug Knight must be pretty cultured. I to, travel a lot. Of. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, more, uh, more especially, power to you. Especially recently. It's, this is actually one of the first times I've been back in the city in quite a while. Uh, if you do not remember, you know, our, our um, last encounter with uh, the Iron Sun mercenaries. <sighs> oh, yeah, no, I remember. All my friends are dead because of that. I am. <laughs> I'm not <even> laughing. <laughs> like, well, like that. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> See, they didn't come back. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> they didn't get better. Wow. Oh. Um. Well. Uh. Uh. My. Uh. My squires and I have been. Uh, I guess you could say in conflict with them for, for a couple of months now. You know, since we since we last ran into them. Uh, the, the charges run from treason to burglary to, to murder, kidnapping. Uh, I think you there's... went in like reverse order there. <laughs> like treason is, is a big one. <laughs> like that's just, we'll, we'll go back to the, what's oh. the treason? Oh no, they have, a, they've already tried to assassinate the king f twice. Then they did the other stuff. Oh, okay. So we're going chronological. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, since the, the, the... Oh, Arson. Arson was... That was a big one. It always comes back to Arson. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, I know this is kind of strange, but I was about to head out to the coast of Torin, if you are familiar. It is a... Obviously by the name. It is a, uh, it is a coastal kingdom that we are uh, currently in talks with. Um, I've heard something of rumors of them being there, but... Um, well, I needed to ask the permission from the uh, king to go, since I am technically a knight of the court. Um, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in joining me. Oh, I think the mind player that I signed a pack with it maybe uh, suggested I might head that way anyway. And he seems like a nice, trustworthy guy. So, you know, <laughs> I'm in. Why are, you, why are you making deals with mind flares? That is the worst idea you could ever it, do. It well, we were dead, so. also literally dead. So our options had very significantly uh, kind of dried up. But he was just he was charismatic. He's a good dude. I feel like you guys are the, are the kind of people that would tell a cop that you did black tar heroin just like moments before. Well, I mean, as long as we didn't have any black tar heroin on us, I think we'd be fine. <laughs> well, I was going to say, currently also, have a mind flare in our like pockets. if we, you know, didn't realize that black tar heroin was a bad thing. Like Paley. This is true. <laughs> this is I think Paleus is the only one that has that excuse. Yeah. Yeah, I outright <laughs> yeah. don't know that that was a bad thing. I mean, but like, Orgoloth would know that it's a bad thing and not think that that's a bad thing, you know? Orgoloth comes from a culture where they've learned to rely on these things. Yeah, this is just like, like you met a friendly professor from like, or like the librarian helped us so get he's a like book. So like, he's like your Robin Williams character in Dead Poet Society? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, hey, that up, is kids? the mind flare. Is, uh... I'm a mind flare. Ooh. <laughs> um, he taught uh, me to believe in myself and my poetry. But uh, I was actually about to head to the palace to talk to the king and queen. If uh, I mean, if you guys would like to join me, you can. But you can also just wait in town and I'll let you know if uh, I got approval. Well, we've got nothing better to do, so I'll join you at least. I mean, I'd like to hear some new character voices, so I'm in. <laughs> 
And I feel like I don't want to just stand around twiddling my thumbs for an hour while you go talk to the most important people in the kingdom. So, yeah, you know what? Why not? Uh, I mean, we did do this. You talk to the most important people in the kingdom every episode. (laughs) (laughs) That's us. Um, (laughs) I got the joke. Yeah. Um, (laughs) All right. So uh, you guys follow Slug Knight to uh, the large, lavish palace that you have not seen since episode three. Um, walking inside the, the grand giant doors, um, down the, the familiar long hallway, back to that, those um, set of doors that you never got to see inside of that Slug Knight um, appeared out of, I think, the first time you met him. Um, and uh, this time the doors do open, uh, revealing a large, uh, grand uh, uh, throne room. Uh, a long uh, carpet leading down all the way up to a small set of steps that leads up to the two thrones with a small with a smaller chair off to the side. Um, in in all three chairs are people sitting: a man, a woman, and a younger male. Um, off to both sides are guards, and there appears to be a larger area, kind of like a court um, area. So, in a lot of these sort of kingdoms, uh, you would have um, like the the open courtroom of the uh, of the throne of the throne room would be like this like sort of large um recreation or multi multi-purpose space where you could have like a trial or you could have a performance or you could have just like people like with chairs and everything set up um depending on the occasion it's like a church um, gymnasium pretty much um this one hovers at empty i also just have never seen a church gymnasium to be fair to be honest <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's sort of the same idea. Uh, right now, it's empty, save for the um, the guards on either side. Um, and uh, Slug Knight kind of approaches the the king and queen, um, and uh, uh, kneels before the 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 royalty. Jimothy also kneels. Okay. Orgolas just keeps standing; doesn't think anything of it. Peleus couldn't care less, so he's just going to keep standing. Okay. And um, not, Orgolas not doing this, like, in defiance. He's just not No, thinking. no, no, no. I know he just is being, being is Orgoloth. Orgoloth. Yeah. It does, I, I didn't assume you were going to be like, yeah, I'm just standing there and I'm whipping my dick out. And I'm, <laughs> well, don't I, assume. I mean, he that, that, that very much sounds like something Orgoloth would do. But only with someone he's met for at least ten minutes. No, these people have not earned the privilege of seeing Orgoloth's genitalia. They still have eight minutes and forty-eight seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> um. But the uh, but Slug Knight begins speaking. Um. King Balkion, Queen Eris, uh, forgive me for intruding on on your uh, your court today without uh being summoned. I I have a favor to ask. My um my investigation into the the Iron Sun Company and their attempts on both people and country. Um have led me to believe that they are currently hiding out somewhere in to- the kingdom of Torin. Um, I, I ask that you allow me and my friends to go to the kingdom of Torin, and on both the behalf of the court, the country, and all those underneath um, uh, the, the nine gods, um, that I may uh, banish these foes from the mortal plane. And um, you see the king and queen just kind of like, nod looking at her and then look back to each other and kind of whispering and talking um before queen uh eris speaks up and says you do realize that we are in the middle of peace negotiations with the kingdom of Torin. we we can't exactly send uh, uh you and a, a small army to uh the kingdom uh, y- you suggest just bringing you these three tr- people with you um what sort of what sort of uh qualifications do they have um Orgoloth and, flexes uh, is there is there 10 feet between me and the ceiling yes it's a very tall room okay uh you know what actually no no never mind there's armed people around that would probably perceive what i wanted to do as a threat never mind <laughs> were you going to jump really high in the air no i was just going to straight up punch some fire upwards 
Oh, that's 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 fair. I thought you were gonna jump really high and like sick sick jumps. Like whoa, look at those see my qualifications. Check Was out. that a and gain or triple full, <laughs> bro? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna dunk on the king and queen, just like leap into the air and just dunk on the basketball hoop above them. Ah, <laughs> uh, can we like uh, rehearse that? Can Orgloss do minor illusion create a basketball hoop, like an invisible you- basketball hoop that Peleus can just dunk on? Argue me, argue to me how they would know what basketball is. Uh, they wouldn't. We invented it, but it'd be so sick that <laughs> just like I don't know what the shit this is, but it's blowing my mind, dude. You guys want to bail on this quest and just go invent basketball and invent sports? <laughs> let's, yeah, let's do it. Would it, would it still be called ESPN? Who knows? Um, I feel like you'd also make the news network for sports so that you can market on all levels, like all like a whole um complete vertical, vertical integration. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't just make the market control the market. Oh yeah, we're like Carnegie Steel, but with basketball. Absolutely. I don't actually understand that joke, but that's on me. I'm sure. Um. So the uh, the uh, Slug Knight. Um. Since no one says anything, Slug Knight. Um. Says well, a lot of flexes. The, the, I feel like that says a lot. <laughs> you are wearing armor. You do know. Like, yeah, but he's going like. Ooh. Oh, and making like the 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 grunts and like the positioning, you know, oh, the poses. Oh, wait. I know, I know, I know. I want to show them my brand. Hopefully, they know what that means, and I'm not just stripping for the royalty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could be trying to entertain the royalty. I, yeah, um, I show them my brand. Okay, so um, like, how are you doing that? You're just just like, eh? I'm just, yeah, just like I'm just showing, like, like, pulling down your. Sh- okay, and you're like, ah, uh, yeah, like my hand under it, like, eh, eh. I'm sorry, what is that? You hear the uh, the queen begin to say. <sighs> Never mind. And I like disheartenly put it back. Put my No, no, on. seriously, I'm I'm actually curious. What is that? Is that like a is that like a touch is that like a new thing? Is that like a trend? Yeah, it's what is all the people say. Is that how people say hello? Is that how people say hello in in other kingdoms? He's like and the king's like, no, no, honey, no, no, no. Um because they genuinely don't know what that is. Oh, so they just, they just tell them just about don't... how you were blessed by an actual goddess. Yeah, that's the thing. I was blessed by an actual goddess. I can prove it if you want. And then you see Slug Knight turn around. She's like, "Wait, I thought you said that you were um you were cursed by what was the term? Mind flip? No, 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 <laughs> and, no, 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 no. No, that, that that's me. <laughs> that was me. I was blessed oh, okay. by a goddess. Oh, and I, I got was cursed by a demon. And. An evil goddess. Oh yeah, we did meet Lolf, didn't we? You yeah. saw you you see the the swell of excitement at blessed, and then the complete destruction of that at the mention of meeting an evil goddess and cursed by a demon. I, it was a fun adventure, certainly one that I would listen to. <laughs> yeah, we level we leveled up like three times. It was pretty sick. Wait, you. You work for a demon, you said? Uh, I've befriended a very powerful individual. And what makes you so... What what makes... What do you think will make me believe that you would then not use that power against both us and uh, Slug Knight here? I don't know, Slug Knight seems pretty chill. Pinky promise. Oh shit, can't beat that. (laughs) <laughs> you would dare sacrifice your whole pinky just for the sake of a uh, promise? Wait, uh, what do you think a pinky promise is? I mean, dude, we're in and you, we're you see, in like you see we're them, in like a fantasy world. That's probably exactly what a pinky a, promise is. You see a man come out with a large executioner's mask and hat and he says, "Bring out your pinkies." He just Pink. has a tiny little cigar cutter ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's got like a tiny little like um letter opener sized axe. <laughs> no, no, he has a no. He has a obscenely large axe, like oh, fully much awful. large, much larger than needs to be, <laughs> and a little, blo- but a little chopping block that he brings around with him. He puts it down, Orgoloth, and you can see the. Give him your pinky. You know, I'm not actually a classically trained pianist in universe, but I might be one day. So no, <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do him, that. Give him your pinky. No, yeah, no, give him yours. <laughs> Fuck you, no. I'm the one who's blessed by a goddess. <laughs> I'm also need- blessed by a goddess and a demon. Mine's better. <laughs> Wait, so is no one giving up their pinkies? And then we both look at Jimothy at the same time. <laughs> <sighs> 
Jimothy, fulfill our debt. Because if, Hang if, on. if no, Counter- I can send him back. Counterpoint. <laughs> kind of. Counterpoint. My pinkies are way smaller and have less value. So, so give up both. No. <laughs> he is true. He has, he has cursed halfling pinkies, which are worth nothing. Mm. I think, okay, so, uh, ma- madam, it was, uh, your, your majesty, it was m- merely a figure of speech. Uh, he did not intend on actually oh, offering was, up his pinky. It was, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, p- uh, pulling things out of proportion to what they really are. Yeah, it was, right. it was a goof. Uh, Frederick, you can go back. And you see the guy just, like, walk back. <laughs> a little disappointed. <laughs> Do you just have that guy at the ready to, like, take people's pinkies whenever you need them the large mustachioed king says you would be surprised how many people offer that <laughs> <laughs> well um, and he lifts a hand to show his pinky is missing i've done it before <laughs> wow so uh, i like to maintain my body <laughs> therefore <laughs> God. Right, but if I'm going to let other people do it, I should at least be willing to do it myself, right? So can you know, we go to Torin I respect Bay? that. <laughs> I could, I could get, I could get fired, you know. Well, that's progressive representative government. I don't know a king was could be. Is this not a pure uh, a monarchy? It's a democratic right. monarchy. A, that's not a what a, that would that would literally just be a democratic that's public. just a democracy like, with, yeah. <laughs> like that's that's not a monarchy anymore <laughs> semantics um yeah fair <laughs> i mean listen you have enough rights people still want a king they don't want to have to worry about someone being in charge that much you know you no, yeah, this, no, way on, this, 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 this way this way this way we didn't come here to discuss the politics of the kingdom you surely know them or you don't which does concern me, but anyway, I mean, you didn't seem to know what a pinky promise was, but, you know, that, that's all behind us. Anyway, like my wife was saying, uh, we are in the midst of a peace negotiation with the Kingdom of Torin, and we're about to send uh, the, the Crown Prince to, to Torin in order to speak to their rulers and, and sign a, a treaty. Uh, I don't think that it is in our best interest to also... Uh, uh, sponsor a quest uh, to go murder some crazy uh, wild barbarian people. You know, it, it doesn't... It, it, it'll seem like an invasion. Can't you play so, it off as a favor to them? I was gonna say, like how about I run... Barbarian infestation? I could run something else by you, right? I don't know how we're gonna deal with Slug Knight. But the three of us clearly, clearly as you've stated, have no official ties to your kingdom. Right? I mean, yes, but you will be walking from our kingdom to theirs, and I'm sure they'll notice that. No, we will they? Cart. I was. Gonna, what if we take a decor, a detour, an arcane detour? Uh, you said that you sounds like what you, you do, <laughs> <laughs> purple boy. What are you talking about? I- I'm saying there's nothing about us that says we are in any way related to the royalty or even the sovereignty. Valoron. We could just but go you've... and not tell them that we're part of this. My allegiance is to myself and a demon. Yeah, but what if you get, like, stabbed or something? I well, feel bad. Who? Well, okay. Well, all right. If that, that's fine. I mean, we've... besides, I'm that... also sending my son there, and I don't want people that I don't know just walking around with giant swords and strange god and demon marks all over their bodies. I don't know what else you have on you. Well, um, Drugs. You know, I, yeah. I we do weren't gonna. Still have three rum I don't think we, we weren't gonna like take the prince with us. Was that the the implication here? No, fuck that guy. I mean, he can go on his uh, own quest. You yeah. see, you see that you see the guy sitting in the chair just kind of looked d- d- disposed. Um, <laughs> as like it's like the scrawny little guy, um, with a with a big old hat, and he's like, oh, <laughs> that's so mean though. <laughs> I mean, our cart only has two beds as it is. You know, uh, there's just, uh, it's just not room for an escort quest. And Slug Knight looks at you guys and is like, but wait, what about, what about my vision? <laughs> was, was the prince in the vision and I just missed that? <laughs> well, no, I, I, I just, I think that, you know, you, 
I, I think that it is we are supposed to go together from here to to Torin. Yeah, I mean, probably we do have to find the other uh, the other warriors, or, or you know. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll go to we'll go to Torin. The warriors? Oh we'll yeah, we'll, I'm, we'll, I'm the we'll warrior. Talk about in the it later. Sky. There's, we'll oh, have boy. a long cart ride oh. that we can uh, we can update you on everything. Wait, but you know what? Just just shut up, all of you. Just shut up. As That's Slug fair. Knight takes takes <laughs> off their helmet and reveals a very long uh, blonde hair, and just like, look, tired of talking that thing, tired of this. Just test them or something. I promise they're good. I'll keep my eye on them. Just. Listen, it is important that we go to Torin. It is important that the prince goes to Torin. Why waste time sending 700 different groups of carts when we could just send one and be done with it? And the, and the king and queen just kind of like sit there and they're pondering. If it makes you feel any better, I can summon lightning. Well, okay, here's, here's a deal I have. So Slug Knight brought up a good idea, says the king. And honey, if you'll let me. Um, how about... We do test you. And you show me some of them lightning powers, kiddo. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Should, just, just here or outside? Yeah, no, I'll send, it, I'll send in some guys. You can fight them, beat them up. If you win, you know, you get to, you get to go. If not, you know, I'll pay, for the, I'll pay for the hospital bill, you know. All right. Sound good? Yeah, you yeah, got this. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm going to fight him alone? No, I don't, I don't want to fight him alone. <laughs> Oh, no, I assume the other two will be there, or else you're going to get your dick kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. And to make this even more fun, I'll send them out in, in uh, two rounds. So the first one's going to be like two guys, and the second one's going to be like an, one guy. Uh, his name is, his name is uh, Cartax. He's a cool dude. Anyway, uh, let's just, uh, I guess, send in uh, Slug Knight. No, you cannot participate. Just to, I, I just wanted to make sure that's clear. Hey, can, I, Slug Knight. can, I, can I roll a uh, history check on Cartax to see if he's, if I know, if I can recognize his name from any kind of notoriety? Uh, yeah, roll, roll, a, roll a history check for me. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 12, so I think that's a 14. I rolled a History cries with the bloody stains of Cartax's carnage. Cartax, one of the uh, one of history's most notorious black knights, fights on the side of good for whatever reason. He is known as the man who could conquer the world. I'm just kidding. He's just some guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jimothy, J Jimothy's not easily scared, but he was getting uh, he was getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> surprise. Here's a super hard boss. Surprise. Here's, here's a super hard boss in the middle of the castle because the king just kind of has him on hand. I mean, yeah. like that would make sense. I would imagine the king would have some pretty yeah. choice knights just kind of chilling. Yeah. I'm not going to try to murder you here. I'm just going to, you know, see if you guys can fight someone. All right. Let's but, uh, yeah, let's fight somebody. All right, so um, out from the uh, the shadows, out from the uh, uh, sides of the, uh, the, the uh, back pillar, you see two figures emerge. Um, you see a man who is dressed in what looks like gladiator armor and another man who's dressed in... Uh, give me one second, I have to pull this up. Uh, oh, I lost it. Give me a second. You see a man dressed in what looks like uh, uh, a professional fighting outfit. He's a little bit older in years, but he still looks uh, he still looks like he's well equipped for, uh, I guess, taking down a monster. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, they stand in front of you and roll initiative. OK. Uh, Orgoth only got a nine. Jimothy got a 7. Paleus got a 16. Okay. Was it a nat 16 or a nat or a non nat 16? It was a 12 plus 4. It was a, four, it was a 14 and then 16 or plus 12, 4. No, 12, 16 12 plus 4. Plus four 16. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second. Uh, Orgoloth, what did you get? I only got a 9. Okay. And Jimothy. Seven. Okay. 
So the order is going to be Peleus, uh, the the older male, the gladiator, uh, the Orgoloth, and Jimothy. Wait, there's uh, two separate ones, and I missed that. Yeah, two dudes. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah, older dude and a dude in a gladiator outfit. So he's wearing like a helmet and stuff. So kind of hard to see his face. Yeah. Um, Peleus, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I think just to start. I'm just gonna I'm you know what? I never use it. I'm gonna huck a firebolt at uh at at uh not the one in the gladiator wait, what is what kind of what, what armor is gladiator armor? Are they in like full plate? What are they in? Uh, He's wearing like a, a shoulder plate, uh a helmet, a loincloth, and shin guards. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna huck a fireball at that guy. Okay. Yeah, I gotta uh check how firebolt works again. Do I roll for that? I don't remember. I don't remember yeah. how Firebolt works. I use it so rarely. Give me one okay. sec. You have to. How dare you? You have to roll for a um, ranged attack. Is that what it is? Yeah. So add your proficiency bonus and dexterity wisdom modifier because it's a ranged magical attack. Oh, is it? Yeah. So you, okay. it should be plus six. No, I don't know what your dexterity no, it's is. Plus, it's a uh, plus six. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't know what the damage ooh, is. Oh boy, twenty three. Oh, to hit? Yeah, you hit. Okay. Where's the <laughs> I don't think anyone dodges that. No. Um Yeah, roll for damage. Uh firebolt. Damage is uh one D ten. Okay. Something that should be on your character sheet. Yeah, probably should be on my spell list now that I'm thinking about it. I just use it so rarely. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ten. Ten damage? Yeah. Oh, okay. And a flammable um, object as you- hit uh, as- ignites, but I don't think he's flammable. As you throw a fireball at him, he kind of rolls into it with his shoulder and it kind of hits the plate, um, uh, which singes and b- glows bright red with heat. And the king's like, ooh, and clapping. Um, as uh, the uh, gladiator begins to then pull out a spear and a shield. Um, it, Paley, is that it for your turn? Uh, I still get my extra attack, right? Yeah, yeah you keep going, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, no, oh, no, um, no, no, because uh, I still take no. attack. First. No. Yeah. No. Correct. Uh, okay, then. Uh, I. You know what? I'll just hang. I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna stay right back here. Okay. Um. The uh, the older male in the larger. I guess more. I guess I would describe it as like more like a like a puffy shirt sort of thing with like a like a breastplate over it. Mm-hmm. Um. Outfit. Uh. That's how the older male is dressed. Um. Approaches Orgoloth with a uh, like a uh, like a very well well made uh, rapier in hand and begins to strike at Orgoloth uh, with speed and tenacity. Oh. Um, does a oh well, twenty one. So he yeah, hits the first attack, yeah, and he is going to make um he's going to make so he's going to make two swipes with his uh, longsword or his rapier, and then he's going to um, flick out with his extra hand, or the second hand, um, uh, uh, a reverse-held dagger um, to swipe at your cheek. So the second hit hits, and then the third one also hits, so he hits you all three. Um, He's doing... uh, 20 damage. What were the attack rolls? Uh, They were a a 16, a 19, and a 19. Uh, The first one misses. No, wait, well, no, with, with... modifiers so In, oh that's including the modifiers. they so were above, 16 they were all, plus okay they were all above 21 yeah okay. no it's, yes i would i would tell you i would ask if it's like a okay yeah yeah no there yeah so 20 damage all right um and that's the end of his turn but yeah he's holding a rapier in one hand and then just a dagger reverse held in the other hand and then he returns the dagger behind his back kind of assuming a uh a fencer's pose again um the gladiator's turns now, and he's kind of pissed at uh, Peleus for the uh, firebolt, so he begins to charge at him, sh- uh, spear in one hand and uh, shield in the other. Um, uh, with his dashing strike, he makes three short um, strikes at Peleus with his spear. Uh, the first one misses. Uh, the second one is a 17. Does that hit? Uh, it's a tie. Okay, so it does not. So it, it clashes against you, or you block it with your staff. Um, and the next one does manage to break through, uh, and he's doing eleven damage to you. Ow! Uh, that's the end of his. Oh, wait, wait, it's... wait! 
I What's am up? going to yell, this is what that brand lets me do and trigger Molten One. Oh my god, this is a, such a- this isn't- you're far enough from the throne, but my god, this is a small room, so everyone's gonna need to make dodges for that. What is the actual save? I forget. I don't remember. I to... You said you had that. I didn't- you This just... is true. I will check it. I'll <laughs> check it. I, I have it written down. Um. Wait, yeah, read off that description to me before I decide that I'm gonna do that, because I don't remember how it works. Uh... I feel we've committed as to this now. A, as a reaction, your yeah. skin erupts in a sea of flames. Anyone within 10 feet of the initial blast must make a deck save or be burned horribly. Continues for one minute. Target makes a deck save against your spell modifier or takes 1d8 flame damage or half as much on success. Each round, anyone within 5 feet must make another deck save or suffer 1d6 fire damage. Okay, yeah. Non no, I'm definitely going to trigger Molten One. Yeah, you already did. Yeah. So, um, everyone make a deck save. Against uh, what's the what? Okay. Uh, veteran fails it. I got a nat, the... a nat twenty. Hell yeah! Glad it. I oh. wish that counted really on saves. Um. Oh, yeah, I got an eighteen. So. Uh, you're fine. Uh, you're you're both fine. Uh, everyone except for the veteran makes it. So the gladiator made it. We the... take half damage then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's the damage amount? Uh, it was one d eight, right? So roll uh. that. Roll them bones. <laughs> they take eight damage. I rolled oh geez yeah well i mean we take four but yeah. okay great and okay no. and then every turn you're within uh five feet uh you have to make another deck save or stuff for 1d6 fire damage uh so <laughs> rad then... okay oh it's uh, fine it'll be fine Orgoloth, it is your turn. Okay. I mean, you got you got two hits in and did most of the damage to the enemy. While the, um, um, is there no reaction to... from the king and queen over? They were asking what that brand does. I told them this is what it does, and then I, I exploded. I mean, I'm sure they said ooh or something, but there was a large explosion, so I didn't hear it. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, it was kind of awesome. You should have been there. The um the additional saves no, no, when they, you they, start. They, you you look over and they're wearing uh what looks like sort of a like a uh a shaded glass in front of their faces. <laughs> it's like wow. They just put on sunglasses, <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. All right. Pretty so much. um the uh the the additional saves we have to do each turn, is that for starting our turn in it or ending our turn in it? Uh starting your turn in it. Okay, so I'll make that deck save. Are you within five mm -hmm. feet of me? Oh, within five. Yeah, I think only that. the gladiator. Yeah, all right, is. that's close enough. I'm probably far enough. No, you are. You didn't move because well, you guys were all we next to there. We didn't get a chance to say where we were standing, but okay. I will roll a deck save, and I got a nine. Hey, Adam, how tall is this room? I assume it's pretty it's, tall. It's very tall. Is it like a hundred feet tall? That is a ridiculous amount of tall. So no. Damn it. Yeah, I was envisioning like 40 feet-ish tall. Yeah, that's pretty, that's like cathedral level. That's, yeah, that's like a, a medium-sized cathedral's height. Uh, Stuart, to put it in perspective, 100 feet tall is 10 stories of nothing but, I know. like, building. I know, like, I know. I just have... One... Can a structure even be that tall without having, like, extra levels? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it would need, like, support we, beams and stuff. We have, it. there yeah, is that's... actual magic in this world. That's a good point. <laughs> I just like to imagine in the basement a bunch of like very weary magicians in the equivalent of magic hamster wheels, like just like constantly running like we have to keep the building afloat. <laughs> Please. Um <laughs> All right. Well, I did not make the deck save on this. Okay, so you're going to take 1d6 fire damage. Yep. You're going to take 6 damage. God, I've rolled max damage on everything <laughs> I've done so far. This is great. <laughs> Thanks. Buddy. Yeah. Good. Good day for Paleus. <laughs> Bad day for literally everyone else. <laughs> Everyone's standing That's... next to Paleus. <laughs> so I've taken nearly half of my health before starting a turn. Oh, right. oh my god. Uh, so as I'm trying to then run away, get out of this, as a free action, I'd like to say, Jimothy, what's your game plan? Because what you plan to do is going to massively impact what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, I was going to shoot a guiding bolt at the um, gladiator guy. Now, guys, they can hear you scheming. <laughs> I mean, well, that's I, fine. That's whether fine. or not, whether or not they know that, that I'm shooting a bolt of uh, light at them doesn't really change the fact that they're still getting a bolt of light at, shot at them. 
That's true. Well, in that case, I would like to, all I want to do is cast enlarge slash reduce, and on uh, and use the um, double cast whatever the hell it's called meta magic to do so, so I can make both of our our little enemies small. Why they get an AC bonus if you do that? Do they? Yeah, because yep. we're bigger than them. All right, well then, fuck that. I'm gonna make me and <laughs> you, Paleus. Actually, no, because I'll probably get caught in the fucking fire again. I'm just gonna make me and Jimothy big. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jimothy. I just like imagine a giant fireman. <laughs> yeah. Does that just make me normal sized? Yes, it does. Uh, you know, let me check that reduce you look, just to make sure. You, you look over to see a normal sized Jimothy. It's very strange. <laughs> he's, no, he's, he's like still he's like, like a baby, but tall. <laughs> Big uh, baby. I'm looking at this. The the reduce does not give any bonuses. It's purely a debuff. Oh, okay. The target size is half in all directions. Like they go down one size category. Uh, they have disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. No, exactly. Alias. They go down a size category. Size category is a thing. It's yeah. Important. yeah. So okay. They still get well, that buff. <laughs> I mean, their AC doesn't help them with strength saving throws. So. And their weapons also do one d four less damage. <gasps> Wait. Yes. Make them small. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I'm gonna make both of them small. While okay. and as like and I've already moved out of the range of Peleus's fire during this. I wanna say like I'm moving behind Jimothy. You're gonna provoke an attack of opportunity. What's the uh what's the saving throw for that? Uh the saving throw is uh that is gonna be three what's it like eight plus proficiency plus spell modifier, I think. Yes. Okay. So that will be fourteen. What kind of save is it? On a... Uh... Constitution. Constitution? Yes. Okay. Uh, the gladiator just kind of shrugs it off. Okay. With his, with his magic shield, I guess. He's gonna slaps it away or something. Uh, veteran not so lucky, however. Old man doesn't seem to take too kindly to, uh, magical things and begins shrieking. He's like, no. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to action surge, and I'm going to try and cast it again on the gladiator, but without meta magic. Or I guess okay. it still includes it because the thing. Yeah. Wait, how do you cast the spell twice in one? I'm using thing? action surge. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So. So I mean that's both my second level spell slots, but wait, did no wait? Did you use did you use meta meta magic to twin that spell? Yes. Then you cannot do that because that's a bonus action. I see. Yeah. Oh, meta magic counts as a bonus action. I believe so. Uh, I let me let me, let me check. check. Let me check super quick. I don't want to say. You can take yeah, I just want to bonus action before your action, though, can't you? Yeah, but if he uses, if he uses, uh. Oh, but he was trying to do two when bonus you actions. when you spell it. Mm, actually, maybe not. Uh. Yeah, see. it's just like you can just spend a point to augment a spell. It, it Interesting. It's not you don't take. I'm going to do meta magic. It's you just augment your spells by expending this resource. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. So just action surge and then cast it again on him. Yeah. Um. Once again, he hides behind his magic shield. Does it kind of just shoots off, and one of the banisters that was hanging on the wall shrinks. Uh, all right. Well, I'm done. Oh, you know like what? Imagining. Actually, we also didn't take, uh, we did not um, deal with the fact that I was, as I said in the beginning, walking away, um, like getting out of the fire while doing this, and I would have provoked at least the attack of opportunity from the veteran dude. So oh, we, okay, we so I'll just do that. that. Well, and that should I'll have actually it. happened before even casting the spells. So, right, so... So he still gets full uh, damage on his. This is kind of... Uh... Uh, does a 19 hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Then he is doing... Let's see. Let's get the dice. Why is it so hard to find dice? He is doing four damage. Okay. Oh, God. I'm just kidding. Um, And that's it. So Okay, yeah. yeah. And what, that happened before I casted the stuff, so he didn't yeah. have the damage reduction. So he basically just whacked his sword against the back, your back, and it just kind of like left you a little sore as you're like, dick. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And that's why I made him small. All right. So I'm, yeah, I like to imagine, by the way, Jimothy. that Orgoloth does the the two pronged devil horn fingers that are um, that. Uh, He's you, holding up two fingers, but it's not his pointer and pinky. Oh no! I imagine like sort of like a 
Spells of the underworld command you. That sort of thing. I don't know. No, he's got anyway. both his middle fingers up and he's saying peace among worlds. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Anyway, uh, it is now Jimothy's turn. What are you doing? All right. Uh, remind me again who has the magic shield? The gladiator? Yes. Okay. Apparently. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, I had. It has to be magical. I don't know how he shrugs off a twinning spell or uh, 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 the shrinking spell. Like a. It's a it's a con save, so okay. Um, so true, but it, hey, I'm just... hmm. <laughs> it's like no, I refuse to be small. Yeah, my fragile, e my fragile ego needs this. Okay, uh, so I'm going to um run into the center of them, like us of the center of the two enemies, and cast. Okay, the very small one and the very big one. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Guardian of Faith. Ooh. Okay, what does that do? So, Guardian of Faith. Uh, give me a sec. A large spectral guardian appears and hovers for the duration of an unoccupied space of your choice that you can see within range. Um, the guardian occupies the space and is indistinct except for a gleaming sword and shield emblazoned with the symbol of your deity. Which is the Talos symbol. So, so a lightning bolt of some kind. Yeah, yeah, it's like a big lightning bolt. And maybe Actually, like I a... don't think you had to run over to them to do it. No, you didn't. I think you could have been where you were. Yeah, that's true. You, do yeah, you can just, you can just hang part. out where you want to yeah, be. Yeah, I'll, I'll just hang out in the back and then just drop it in the middle of them. Real quick, yeah. don't forget to roll for that fire. Oh. Why would Whoa, you... Was Jimothy within five feet of you? Whose team are you on? <laughs> The team of proper role playing. <laughs> I'm, I, I, don't, I don't think I think that you just tried to sabotage this right from the get go. You're like, I'm just going to do a huge AOE that hurts. Hey, at least you get plus one inspiration. Forever. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just have to give it to you. Man, I'm I mean, he also, inspiration. I think like even from a role playing perspective, Peleus was like Peleus himself might have forgotten what this did because he's never used yeah. it before. So maybe he doesn't so know I, his own I got fire a, I got a 14. You mean you're fine. You you get half damage. So or if not, it's a. I think it's a. I think it's just you have to f beat it, right? Yeah. Let's say that. Let's say you just have to beat it. Uh, so how much damage yeah. do I take? Nothing. You beat it, so you're fine. Okay. All right. So yeah. then, yeah, I'll drop. I'll drop my guardian of faith, um, which is like a electrical looking humanoid figure holding a big. Uh, lightning bolt and sword, or er, lightning bolt and shield. The lightning bolt is the weapon, and so he's like using a lightning bolt as like a yeah yeah like a sword like a, he's like it's like a it's like a lightning bolt shaped sword. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I so who's he? That, Adam. Who is he striking at? Um, <laughs> just to clarify, uh, it doesn't happen. Nothing happens until like the characters. Um, or actually, it says it says any hostile creature moves that moves into a space within ten feet of the guardian must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. So I don't know if it, I don't. So I'm guessing at the start of their next turn or something. Probably. Does it say anything about starting a turn in that space? No, it just says as long like if they move within ten feet of the guardian. Oh, so if they start moving or something. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's so. It's like a T-Rex. So he's just staring very angrily at them right now, like, I'm gonna stab you. Oh, they are super about to start moving. Oh, and then I'm gonna use um my uh bonus action to swing my hammer around and okay. cause its lightning damage or lightning effect. So I'll roll a D6. I rolled a four. A four on the lightning table. Let's see what that gets you. Uh, you cast the spell Call Lightning. I can't do that in this. Uh, call Lightning only works if uh, you have a hundred foot of one hundred feet of sky. So nothing happens. Magic, magic, magic hammer says I don't give a fuck. So it happens. Okay. Call Lightning. So then they have to make a. <laughs> they, I believe they have to make a deck save. I mean the. Uh, what would... Listen, I gave you a hammer that says you can call Lightning. You can call Lightning wherever the fuck you want. Okay. What could oh. make make sense from a. I do a like the idea that you're in a small ten foot tum tunnel and like the lightning is like I guess and it goes sideways well, just, just to compensate. What if it arcs off the hammer. Yeah, that was my other. Yeah, thought, it's a dex but... throw. Yeah, so I'll um, cast it at the um, the gladiator. So he has to make a dex save. Okay. And he has to beat a 14. 
Uh, he makes it. Okay, so then he takes half of 3d10. Jesus. Let's see, that's an 8 and a 6, so 14 and 19. So, 8, eight damage or 9 damage? 9 damage. Yeah, 9 damage. So, you, you call lightning, and despite how much he is relying on this magic fucking shield, um... You still managed to kick his dick into the dirt with your fucking huge ass thunderbolts of death. As uh, he is pushed back a couple feet uh, by the force of it, uh, causing your guardian to react. Uh, what is going on with your guardian now? Oh, uh, the guardian. Because oh, yeah. uh, he has to make another deck save. What's the deck save? I'm or, assuming it's still a 14. It's going to be the same. Yeah, whenever you're. He uh, fails it because he, he was busy dealing with lightning. Then he takes 20 radiant damage. Jesus. Jesus. As uh, I guess, just, uh, I'm guessing he just like throws the lightning bolt at him and it explodes or something. Yeah. They, uh, so just like. I mean, he just takes, he just takes a big swipe at him and just like cl just cleaves him with this giant lightning bolt. Okay, I like to imagine this then that he like swipes through him and the, the, the thing goes through him, but like you can see this like ethereal outline of his soul like kind of leaving his body before pushing back in. That's pretty Terrifying. brutal. Uh yeah, as he took a significant chunk chunk of damage. Uh Paley, it is back to you, I assume. Yeah, it's I can only assume. Super back to me. Uh, you have a very small old man in front of you, and it is not Jimothy. Yeah, and guess who has a disadvantage on strength saving throws? Guess who's about to get hit with a wall of air? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. He's not even. I can just step back without provoking an attack of opportunity from this guy, right? Uh. I think you can probably step back from a little old man, but not the gladiator. Well, the gladiator got yeah. thrown. Oh, he? he got pushed back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. Um, I don't know. You probably I'm gonna even if he can, he's gonna do less damage on an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm so. gonna say you might, you might, you can just take it, but he's gonna have the opportunity. Uh, I mean, no, he's 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 not because I'm just gonna use a key to use disengage as my bonus action and take a step back. Uh, okay, so I do that. Uh, step back about, I don't know, let's say... So you carefully step away, using your key to help hone where to step without this little old man's little, little pin needle stabbing you now. Yeah, and then I'm gonna punch him with Fist of the Unbroken Air. Uh, my size for this guy, by the way, is, like, shifting to, like, like ant size, to, like, size of a bottle of water, to, like, you <laughs> know, Jimothy height. Yeah. I know. Uh, Paleis, what do you, what is the, uh... Yeah, so... So you step back and then... Yeah, I'm in a fist of unbroken air, this uh, this fine gentleman here. Okay, so you're going to send a hurricane at this man. All right, what's the, uh, what's the save again? Uh, strength save, 14. But he has disadvantage. Yep. And the, um, uh, I imagine the gladiator's probably also caught in the, uh, like, how big is the radius other. of it? How, it's how not a radius, I just target someone. Oh, it's a single target? Yeah. Oh. Wait. Okay. Uh, he fails it. Yeah, he does. Uh, so he's gonna take three d ten bludgeoning damage. Uh, get thrown twenty oh, God. and knocked on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, so, eight. so roll for damage. Uh, holy shit. Uh, let's see. So, uh, okay. So uh, twenty one. Okay. So he is. But. But. Taking quite a significant chunk of damage as this as this small Jimothy sized Jim Jam uh, sized creature uh, is now flung back um, towards the throne of or towards the steps of the throne room. But my favorite um, part of as that. The, oh, go ahead. Sorry. As the king looks down and is like, "Eh, midget throwing." My favorite part of that though is he moved next to that guardian and was knocked prone. So there's there's oh. no deck save there. <laughs> okay. So, Jimothy, yes. uh, the old man has been flung through the Guardian space. Roll for that damage. He is prone, so you do not have to worry well, it doesn't, about it. Uh, it's it's not a dice roll on it. Damage. It just does 20 damage. Yeah, it just, oh, it does, 20, it just yeah. does 20 damage, and then if he didn't save it, he gets it does 10. Yeah, and then once it's done a total of 60 damage, it disappears, is the thing. Oh, yep. wait, so he does okay. 30 damage total since he couldn't save it? or No, no he no, takes no, 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 he no. 20. He takes okay. 20. Okay. It's okay. 20 okay. on a fail, 10 on a success. Oh, okay. All right. So he took 41 damage total there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. He took a lot of damage. Um, 
So, uh, Paley, is that the end of your turn, or do you have more to do? Uh, yeah, no, that's that's just the end of my turn. I, it was a good turn. Okay, <laughs> so you see this very little man get back up as he 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 just kind of goes, I'm out, <laughs> and he just hobbles back <laughs> behind the altar. Very small, very awkwardly, because he's not used to being that size. He's like, this is going to fade away, right? Like, I'm going to be go. Oh, Orgolas will just re release it as a free action, I'm pretty sure. Like, he can... Okay. <laughs> He's like, this will be even oh okay, thank you. Huh. This is why I'm retired. <laughs> As he walks back behind the thing and just kinda I don't know, goes wherever the fuck he goes. Um as the gladiator's like, dick. Um <laughs> Still definitely needing help. Uh as the gladiator then uh I guess he's gonna I guess he has no choice. He's gonna move through the Guardian space to get to uh Paleus again. <laughs> um that's uh and he's going to do the save uh oh he does not make it i think so that's 20 more damage and then the guardian dissipates okay as he makes his way to paleus despite literally almost losing his soul uh as he tries to to turn paleus into a flaming shish kebab uh hit hit and 17 hits uh 17 is a tie so no Okay, so he hits you twice and then misses the third one. But as he's doing, uh, no, I'm sorry. I mean, doesn't he need to roll for not getting burned up by molten one that's still definitely going? Yeah, he takes damage from that. Woo. So six damage. How much damage is he taking? Six damage. Six damage. Yeah. Okay, so he's taking six damage. He's still up. He is doing twenty-two damage to you. Oof. How is this guy still standing? Like he's had his soul almost ripped out twice now. Keyword he doesn't wear almost. Uh, does anyone want to roll either a knowledge history or a knowledge uh investigate or just an investigation check? I rolled a nat uh, twenty. Sure, I'll roll history I, or insight. Even I, nat I guess you could use it. I got a. Uh, I got a twenty. There's a reason why gladiators don't wear armor. It's because they don't need that shit. Hey brother oh is he like uh what's the he's very one, very tanky that one fighter archetype that's like stats uh the one I, I guess went with oh he's he's kind of like a classic just uh uh champion, champion. yeah yeah I mean, um sim that. similar yeah yeah um ch uh gladiators um at least as far as you know basically uh treat every battle uh as an uh an entertainment for the crowd and a brutal life to death struggle uh, this one in particular seems to be very focused on the craft of, you know, having a, a good fight. Not, maybe not the most entertaining of fights, but the best fight he can have. Um, hence why he's, you know, coming at you with all he has. Um, wait, he's focused on as, me then? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys want to make this interesting and, and just let us fight? And the, um, as a bonus action, he's going to just kind of smash at you with a shield. Ow. Maybe not. Uh, he misses it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, actually, are you medium? Uh, I don't know. I'm. Yeah, yeah you're so. no, you are medium. Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. That doesn't matter for now. Anyway, uh, it's back to Orgoloth. What are you doing? Uh, it's Paleus, you say you want to one v one this dude? I might be down to one v one this dude. I mean, I'm gonna look at Jimothy and shrug. Look at the king and shrug and point to just kind of motion to the him. king. The king looks at the queen. He shrugs. She shrugs. <laughs> she looks at one of the guards. The guard shrugs. Guard looks at another guard. He shrugs. Guard looks at another guard. He shrugs. Everyone's shrugging and just looking around the room. It takes a good amount of time. By the time it was uh, molten, <laughs> molten one does wear out. <laughs> uh, but everyone has has consolidated. We're pretty okay with it. All right. I'm just gonna kind of. By the way, I'm wave. kidding. You don't have to actually get rid of molten one. Although I do think it's kind of funny for the scene itself. I'm gonna, Orgolot's just gonna be like, all right, you guys, you know, have a good, clean fight and just kind of walk off and chill and, and watch. Yeah. Okay. And now we go right. to Jimothy. Wait, are we, are you dueling him? Uh, I is mean, that, I brought it? up the idea and I would like to, but I mean, I'm not going to stop you from walloping. Oh, Jimothy, Jimothy's just like, well, I've demonstrated my lightning powers and whatnot. Uh, I'm good. You can, you can fight him all you want. Mm -hmm. Go, right. Paleus! <laughs> okay, cool. So I guess we're. Alright, so Paleus, it's back to you, I think. Alright, alright. Uh, can I just, as a free action, give him a little bow? Uh, 
Then I'm going to disengage him one more time. Back up 10 feet. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to disengage him at all because I don't actually need to for this. Uh, I'm just going to go. He does have a spear, by the way. That's okay. So you'd, you'd have to be- disengage like 30 feet, I think. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just not even going to bother disengaging him. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to I'm gonna go ahead and throw a punch <laughs> and trigger fangs of the fire snake. <laughs> uh, so it deals fire damage instead. Uh, and that's going to be for all of my punches for the rest of this turn. Okay, uh, so explain what that means for me. Okay, Fangs of the Fire Snake, when you use the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point to cause tendrils of flame to stretch out from your fists and feet. My reach with them with unarmed strikes increases by 10 feet for that action as well as the rest of the turn. A hit with such an attack deals fire damage instead of bludgeoning, and if I spend one key point when the attack hits, I also deal an extra 1d10 fire damage. Okay, so you're doing both of those things for the rest of this turn? Uh, yeah, I'm, d- I'm doing Fangs of the Fire Snake for the rest of the turn. Like, it's How many key points are you spending for, I mean, for both of those effects? Both of them. So for a Fire Snake. Oh, I the have, second effect only happens. It's something he can do when the I attack I can choose lands. if it hits to use that effect. Right, right. I thought you said you were going to use it well, regardless if you got the hit. I will if I hit, yeah, it, but I'm... I, that's, yeah. yeah. I just, I'm just asking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. Okay, so first attack. <laughs> Not 20. Oh my god. This is a good round for Paleus. Um, so I nat 20 that, so it's going to be 10 damage. Uh, can you nat... It's a spell, technically, right? No, no it's an attack. It buffs his attacks. It's an attack. Okay, yeah. then yeah, you can nat 20 that. Yeah, I nat 20 that, so it's going to be 10 damage. Plus, or, or is, Was it just the full dice damage or full damage? Full dice damage. Okay, so 6 plus 9, so that's going to be... Uh, what is that? 15. I'm going to trigger Fangs of the Fire Snake to make the flame hotter. Okay. Uh, deal an additional ten. Holy shit! Damage that punch does twenty five damage. <laughs> okay. Jesus. As he's bathed in flame. Uh, gonna use my second attack. Uh, uh, seven plus seven, the uh, fourteen. Uh, a fourteen does not hit. Okay. Gonna trigger flurry of blows. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's now three key points I've spent. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Okay. Uh. Uh, 26. <laughs> so. To hit or damage? 26 to hit. Oh, okay, then you hit, yeah. Uh, 5 plus 4, 9 plus... Gonna trigger fangs of the... Or, uh, do the extra damage again, so that's... 9 plus another 10. That punch does 19 damage. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, then my... La- okay. My last punch he's, is... Gonna- he's down. <laughs> is he, like, down, down? Yeah, he's down. <laughs> okay. He's covered in burn wounds. <laughs> All right, then I'm yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and with my fl- my hand still like ablaze with the rest of me, just give him another bow and step back. OK, you're not going to help him up. I'm still pretty on fire. Orgolov can... will walk down and just help him up to be a good sport. I would be a good what sport, a nice but boy. it would hurt him more for me to yeah. help him up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that's clear. Yeah. Paleus has forgotten to turn off flames. <laughs> How hi, I lost the power button. Oh, Shit. Actually, since he's since he's yeah. unconscious, Orgoloth would like to to cast reduce again and just pick <laughs> up a smaller version of him so it's easier. <laughs> okay, you will be spending a sorcery point for this. No, I'm I'm out of spell slots for that, so it doesn't like. Oh, okay. Boy, I, I guess not that he even needs to because Orgoloth is lifts. I'm like really so. okay. just, really glad I went. Out elemental monk because that is like the coolest combo on the planet yeah hell yeah fire spec yeah that was a terrifying combo i love it <laughs> <laughs> all right so um the king claps he's like again 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 and and he looks at the, at the queen he's like again and she's like yeah <laughs> um I mean, as uh, i have one more punch so you know what i'll just punch it straight up into the air and victory for him well we still have another uh we still have another round another bout is well, yeah another is... bout but like this yeah. is just i'll go ahead and punch that last punch real quick up into the air and give him a little show oh because it's still part of your action without even spending resources yeah exactly um so a a somewhat imposing figure a horned black knight comes out uh two large horns reach up uh about an extra foot, I guess you could say, um, comes out wielding in his hands what looks to be a longsword, and on his back are a spear and a great bow. Um, and he just kind of calmly walks out, looks at the three of you, bows, uh, roll for initiative. 
Right, well, I guess Orgoloth can start by vaulting back into the arena. Uh, I rolled 22. Okay. 13. Uh, 19 plus a 20. 20. Not Nat, just a normal 20. It's going to be Paleus, Orgoloth, uh, the Black Knight, Car- Cartex, and Jimothy. Wait, the Black Knight and Cartex? The Black Knight, Comma, colon, Cartex. Car- okay. Uh, so yeah, Paleus, what are you doing? Boy, I blew a lot of key on that last match. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. You did. Uh, this is a thing that you did. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay here and uh, ready an attack. If he, if he comes over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take my attack. But for now, I'm just gonna ready that up. All right. Uh, Orgoloth, what are you doing? I would like to... So, so just to avoid confusion, how are we standing? How is everybody... What do I see on this battlefield? How are we... How's everybody arranged? I'm about... Uh, so, Paleus is standing about 10 feet away from this dude. Uh, you are 20 feet off to the side, so is Jimothy. Jimothy's about 5 feet from you on the right. Okay, I, in that case, I would just like to walk up to him and try and position myself in such a way that after our turns are resolved and everything, I am between him and Jimothy. Okay, so you walk in front of Jimothy and you just kind of stand in front of him. Not like right in front of Jimothy. <laughs> I, what no, I'm no, getting no. at here is that if this guy <laughs> no, no, goes I get to you, attack I get one you, of them, I get it's going to be an attack for opportunity. Okay, so you you get as close as you can to this dude, yes, pretty I'm, much. Are yeah. you going to ready anything, or are you just going to walk there? No, I'm, I'm going to attack him. I'm just trying to make sure the <laughs> no, positioning everyone, is clear. Everyone's just going to move around shuffling for the first I'm turn. I just want to make sure the positioning is crystal clear, that like him doing anything to get away from where I am is opportunity attack stuff. And then okay. I'm just going to straight up attack him. Nothing, nothing special. Okay. Roll to attack. That, oops. That is going to be... Uh, what's my, uh, oh yeah, five, 17 plus five, 22. 22 to hit? Yeah. All right, you hit, roll for damage. Uh, that's going to be 12 on the first attack, sorry. 12 on the first attack? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, you know, I want to so, do another attack that's goading strike. Okay. For, for my second attack, I want to, you know, modify it with go. Oh, that was a nat 20, fuck yeah. Okay, so for him, what do you, what is the... So what my is... my second attack was a nat twenty. Um, okay. Um, so the second yeah. normal attacks. So that's the full mm-hmm. damage. Yeah. Of the full di- full full dice damage, regular roll, uh, whatever d- damage additions you do. So it's going to be twenty two damage, and then the goading strike will be nice. Uh, goading strike. We'll do another seven damage. Okay. Uh, Jesus. And then um... the um. Save is a wisdom on, uh, what'll it be? A uh, wisdom on fourteen. Okay. Um, and is that it for your, your turn? Yes. You did a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is his turn. Uh, did and he do he... a save on the wisdom? It's a fourteen wisdom throw roll for a uh, goading strike uh, effect. Let me check. Uh, yeah, he makes it. Okay. Okay, he's going to attack you. Okay. As he drops his sword and he just pulls out his spear, one hand on his shield, as he um, swipes at you with his um, with his spear, does a 18 hit. That ties, so I believe the house rule was no. No, so he's going to strike again, and uh, he misses again. Okay, I would like to repost one of them. Okay. Which just, I just get an attack roll and then add the... Uh, does... A 19 hit? No. Okay. Um, It is now, I believe, Jimothy's turn. What are you doing? All right. I am going to cast... Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to cast Hold Person on him. Choose a humanoid you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be paralyzed for, that, for the duration. Which is up to one minute at the end of its turn the target can make another wisdom saving throw on a success okay so yeah he has to beat a 14 wisdom throw uh he does not beat it all right so he's paralyzed until the end of his next turn okay and that's all i'm gonna do he's actually paralyzed for up to one minute 
Well, yeah, up to one minute. Unless he makes another saving throw, yeah. Right, so he's paralyzed for up to one minute. And that's okay. the end of my turn. And I just and I just tell the other two, nail him! <laughs> okay. Go for it, Peleus. Now, what does paralysis oh. do to him exactly? I don't think he can react or anything, uh, so... Automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws, Fist of the Unbroken Air. Okay, so Fist of the Unbroken Air. Yep. So he, you will also I, wait. How far of a distance does Fist of the Air do in terms of how far away can it can I be to hit him? Isn't it supposed to be a single target? We no, no, that. no. Is it supposed to be a single target? Yeah, choose a creature within thirty feet of you. Okay, just just making sure. Yeah, no, because um, I'm I'm right there is the thing. Look, I move. Well, it was also the 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 standing behind him is the royalty of this kingdom. Oh, fuck okay, him. well I'm gonna okay I'll move slightly to the to the right so that he gets thrown kind of left of them after he gets thrown twenty feet. Okay, uh, I appreciate the uh, the consideration at least. Yeah, I don't want to like hit them with this guy. Uh, so he's gonna take three yeah. d ten. So that's uh, he's gonna take nineteen damage. Uh, get thrown twenty feet and knocked prone, and that's all my all my key. Okay, so he's dealt 19 damage. He is knocked away, and he is on the floor. Uh, Orgoloth, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to run over, uh, just make a normal attack for stop. Okay. Now, we're not fighting to, like, kill this guy. Couldn't you just put your blade at his throat and say submit or something? Don't we just... just he is paralyzed. I don't know if he could talk, but... Uh, does a 24 hit? Uh, gee, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> uh, He's not a turn. I only do actually only do seven Holy damage with this attack. No. So any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. Oh, yeah. when he's paralyzed, okay. he's prone and paralyzed. Oh, in that case, I do nineteen damage. He's basically asleep. Like that's basically how it works, which is automatic crits if you hit someone. Um, I'm sorry. What was it? That's nineteen damage. Okay he's not doing okay all right and then for the second i'm just gonna just grapple him i'm just gonna like pin him on the ground <laughs> okay so you, so orgoloth just hits this guy and then just crawls on top of him and starts hugging him <laughs> more or less it's basically yeah. yeah that's basically what happened and so he's covering his body jimothy what are you doing are you gonna hit you should or you should slap what? the ground and count to 10 is <laughs> um yeah, I'll do that. He he, he fails the wisdom. He's still paralyzed. Oh, he fails the wisdom save again. Wait. Yeah, and the king the king kind of goes, "Enough, enough. No no coitus in my court." <laughs> you don't own us. <laughs> he does own yeah, the court. He though. does own the but court. He, and he also owns this But that guy. man is clear <laughs> That guy is clearly not in the position to 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 consent to something like this. I I don't feel comfortable that watching. That is a very That's good true. point. And Orgoloth apps will stand up and say, "My apologies." <laughs> Well, I mean, Orgoloth wasn't doing that. It just kind of looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Orgoloth was secretly doing that. He's like, oh, wait, this paralyzed man who can't speak isn't consenting? Holy shit. In, wait, in, in <laughs> yeah. which case, it, it puts a lot of things in perspective. The he, he's the not nudity. consenting on the fight. He's not consenting to fight anymore. So he's like, wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, you see um, a uh, a larger male. Uh, with uh black hair i'm sorry uh with black hair walk up and kind of drag him off um and then you see uh just like a few of the guards sort of shuffle out of place um as uh the king looks at you and says all right i'm, I'm impressed what do you think and he looks at his wife and the queen uh just kind of is nodding like mm, not bad not bad um as they say you know all right so we uh we, we can't see a reason why you guys are not will um well enough equipped to uh do this so i guess uh i guess it's uh it's your game however we do have requests obviously such as uh first of all we are bringing we are sending with you a company of armed guards um wasn't this supposed to be clandestine Yes, but we will send uh it's, it'll only be like four people. Um and then the prince. So while you guys are off doing your questing thing, they will be able to protect the prince and um allow him to do his peace negotiations. I see. Um speaking of which, uh 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 Slug Knight, can you go fetch the uh the uh your your squires? 
And Slug Knight just kind of like sighs and uh, walks off to go get uh, uh, what looks to be a very interesting group of, in of individuals. Uh, there is a, a woman with uh, short red hair who is wearing a classic white priest cloak, a guy in full armor um that looks a bit wonky he is there's no sign of his face or anything he's even more covered up than i would say um uh slug knight is and there is also a shorter male with green skin who is notably um a goblin uh, is he a goblin <laughs> uh yeah he is he, or he's a gnome ew well oh and sorry his skin is lightly lightly tanned my bad uh <laughs> and his hair is sun bleached blonde uh with him it looks to be uh is a a ferret or a weasel or something um just like hanging out on his shoulder and uh there is a larger male with uh black hair and uh sort of like fair skin um that was the guy that dragged off the black knight earlier um and he's holding uh what looks to be uh just like a large shield and a warhammer in both hands as uh uh slug knight says uh well um these are uh, my squires squires uh my friends i guess as the larger male comes he's like pleasure to meet you ulrich <laughs> uh paladin of the land oh though only in training currently well, and what are your names good sirs uh my name is jimothy sir jimothy horan that's a beautiful name, Jimothy, and he stands out a hand to shake yours uh, with with a with a firm grip. This guy's got a good grip. I shake him with an equally firm grip. You are in the air, by the way. He is like literally shaking you up and that down. That is okay. <laughs> Jimothy can handle it. <laughs> um, as uh, the gnome also approaches, and he's like, "Sup, guys? I'm, I'm my name's like Chud. <laughs> like, I'm I guess a squire." It's pretty alright. This is Gavin. He's he uh he's uh my benchmate. Alright, Orgoloth's gonna gonna walk up and shake shake his hand to be like He's like, no no no. I appreciate Pr a man who pound lives. it or hug it out. Orgoloth does both. Nice. He's like, by the way, you smell absolutely amazing. All of you. Every single one of you smells absolutely amazing. That's a weird thing to note. Thank you. Jimothy takes great pride in his smell. <laughs> <laughs> Orgoloth also seems pleased. <laughs> or Orgoloth um, just likes compliments. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he looks around. He's like, this place is kind of like a snore fest. Like, let's go to a bar and just like talk to people. Like, let's like get wasted. Oh boy, I am um, on it, and I eat a rum raisin. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll for raisin. Uh, what do I can roll you for roll? That? For what am I rolling? No, 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 no. You should roll to see if those things are still fucking good. Like, I mean, they're preserved by <laughs> they're the preserved. alcohol. I and yeah, by being it's been like over three months since we left here. Let alone you can when he got comes. Alcohol in a cellar for like three hundred years. Yeah, but not in a fucking raisin in a pocket. <laughs> what like, <am> I rolling? <laughs> <laughs> roll a d10, a d10. D or a d20. Uh, and uh, let me know if you. I got thirteen. Just roll a d twenty. I mean, if anything, they've probably gotten stronger. Sorry, what? A thirteen. I got a thirteen. Thank you. Chris was talking. You're fine. He cut out um, the first time. Oh. Uh. As uh, you just hear a voice from the back, just like, "Wait, are we going out?" And it's just this guy comes out with um short brunette hair. And a uh, cherub-like, uh, almost I would guess, uh, more androgynous face, and very shiny like armor. Um, it's like, wait, can can I go out? Mom, Dad, can I go out? Is that cool? No one's gonna like try to stab me this time. <laughs> um, and this is clearly the prince. Whoever was sitting in that chair earlier apparently is some sort of uh, court jester type. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, does Orgoloth get disadvantage on? like attack rolls while in the presence of the shiny armor <laughs> it's like the sun wait no he is a sun so yeah you get disadvantage around him <laughs> that's how that works all right um i'm totally kidding uh and this is a uh, prince taurus as you have been led to believe earlier um the crown prince and who you will be guarding as uh you accompany him to torrent's coast what if he owns as, the coast? as as Ulrich looks at me and says, 
Prince Taurus, guardian of the realm and the light itself. It is an honor to be in your company. And Taurus like, okay, um, you don't have to do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you're, I, I didn't catch your names. I was kind of busy. Um, who are, who are you three? I kind of know them. <laughs> I definitely know Chud. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, as, uh. The, the the third person seems to not be talking at all, by the way, like the guy in full armor, just not talking. Um, and uh, yeah, but he, he's asking for your guys' names. So however you want to introduce yourselves to him. Orgoloth is too tired for impressions. He's, too tired for his shenanigans? He's too tired for his own shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm, I am Orgoloth. That's it. That's all he needs. Why so down in the dumps, friend? <laughs> I mean, we took uh, a wall up in there. I'm kind of tired. Says Orgoloth. Huh. Do you want uh, Naira to take a look at you? And the, um, the, the shorter sort of um, white cloaked figure comes up and she's like, Oh, well, you look kind of uh, down in the dumps, mister. Well, I mean, if you're offering to heal me, then uh, sure. That could be. <laughs> I'm at a significant health deficit. All right, all right. Uh, just, just come over here, and she kind of waves you down, like very um, insistently. She's like, and bend down. I don't like to tall people. It makes it weird. All right, I guess Orgoloth will just kind of slob squat or something, and she kind of <laughs> flicks you on the forehead, and you feel better. How, how, how much better? Full better. Full better. That's a lot of yeah, better. Yeah, it's all the way back to full health. Oh, right. <laughs> just like flick on the forehead. It hurt at first, and then you feel fine. Oh, wonderful. She's like, all right, all right. <laughs> I Where's your, uh, where? There you go. Naira. And she kind of raises a hand out to you, but it's kind of mostly covered in cloth. Nope, I'll shake it. Yeah. yeah. As you, you shake the lump of cloth that is covering a hand underneath. Uh -huh. Um, and, uh, she and, uh, Chud and Ulrich all start walking out, followed by the quiet sort of like, almost like a statue person. Um, uh, towards uh the entrance and before Chud's like wait wait where are you parked you know that that kind of varies uh usually our cart comes and finds us when it's time to go yeah we parked what is it we parked in the square i think i don't know it just what is left it? us somewhere what does it look like yeah, it's a cart there's a pinata on the front i don't know go watch episode like six we got it a description a in episode one. It, I gave descriptions up and up through the past couple episodes, as well as like one of the most recent one. It has like a painted trident on the side of it, and it like is mostly all wooden right now. Right, because it evolved, and it has it has the pinata in the front now as well. So I thought, it always, there's a lot I thought of, it's always had the pinata in the front. It's pretty much always had the pinata, but I'm saying like there's a lot of descriptors you could have given this guy. Oh well, the pinata is by far the most striking one. Yeah, just yeah. it's the one with the pinata in the front of it. And then he goes, what's a pinata? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, wait. That's not a horse? <laughs> Argoloth, do, wait, is it do you know what a horse looks like? Have you ever seen a horse before, Argoloth? <laughs> Argoloth, I can say, <laughs> yeah, has probably yeah, never seen a horse. Our cart. Come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're going to start walking towards and try to find your cart. Um. As Slugnate kind of looks at them and kind of like nervously and is like, oh, I, I should probably uh, go after them, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't want them, I guess, ruining your your vehicle. Um, just uh, come find the cart, I guess, when uh, whenever you guys are ready. Well, you, yeah, I'm sure you guys might want to do some things in town. Um, oh, wait, no, there is something we have to do. There is one last thing we have to do. Um, we do have to bring something with us to Torin in order to show that we, you know, have a... a uh, sort of a, a good faith gift. Um, uh, I need the three of you to come with me. As uh, uh, she starts hurrying out of the uh, the the royal palace, and the king's like, "Come back soon!" And blow shit up. You got it. That was fun. <laughs> that that was fun, honey. What nice boys. <laughs> As just like the doors slam behind you, um, and Slug Knight starts leading you towards uh, what looks to be a tall tower, the the spire of Alaron. That that sort of huge building that you always tend to see as when you approach the the uh, the kingdom, um, 
And with a hand wave, the guards kind of let her through uh, along with you guys. Uh, as you guys make your way up this very tall, very narrow tower, it's a very long staircase that just goes up and up and up and up and up um, until you stop at uh, probably uh, five or six floors up and you get and you open a door that uh, she has a key for. And you arrive in a small room where a, uh, a pedestal is glowing with an object floating in the center of it. Um, what does the object look like? It looks like to be a piece of a golden gauntlet, specifically a thumb. She says, this is uh, one of the artifacts. And for whatever reason, I feel like we kind of should bring this one with us. Would have been better if it was a pinky. (laughs) That would imply so much. (laughs) Um, No, but it looks to be the the golden plated thumb of a, 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 a larger gauntlet. The rest of it seems to be missing. Don't we have a um, piece of that gauntlet? One of us has a piece of as, that gauntlet. As uh, uh, she walks up and just grabs it and then hands it to you guys and says, I, I trust you guys to hold on to this. Um, <laughs> well, no. Looks at, looks at Peleus, looks at, Jim, at uh, Orgoloth, and then looks at Jimothy and hands it to Jimothy like, I trust you to hold on to this. Aww, smart thank move. you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I can't as, blame you. As as, as uh, she looks back, she's like, I just don't have any pockets. And then just trunks down the stairs. Just dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing really on her is the uh, giant uh, frog axe and the, uh, uh, I mean, just her suit of armor, which is fucking huge. Um, so, yeah. Uh, are you guys going to walk downstairs with her? Or are you going to try to, I, I guess. I kind of want to not... look around the archives, see if I see and look at, find anything interesting. There, the um, this specific tower is not necessarily um, very wide, so um, to see any more of it, you would need to go to another floor, which you do not have the key to necessarily. Um, just to kind of explain uh, in depth more, I, I think the, the really, really the only place you can go is like, I guess, try to look around this very un- empty room more, or go down. I mean, I guess let's uh, just go yeah, down. let's just yeah, let's just go down. I don't, yeah, if, if it's empty, I'm okay. fine with just going down. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so you make your way down back to the street level, as um, behind you the doors kind of just slam shut, and uh, Slug Knight looks at you guys and says, "Well, uh, if you guys want to go shopping or something, uh, I don't mind waiting, but yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the cart if that's alright with you." I kind of want to check out the magical item shop. Okay, yeah, ye, ye old magic shop. Yeah, the ye old magic shop. Was it ye the modern return. magic shop? Oh, it was ye modern magic shop? That was a, that was a, the joke. Woo! Sorry about that. I forgot. <laughs> um, so, uh, you make your way back to the familiar um, sort of uh, brick and wooden shop front uh, storefront of ye modern magic shop. Walking inside, you see the familiar face of a rather chummy dwarf. Um, this shop contains a, an assortment of items, some in glass jars and others in cases that look to be more mystical than practical. Um, uh, as soon as he sees you walk in, he goes, ah, you three again. Uh, I noticed that you guys got your license in, in finally, but it's been a while since I've last seen you. Yeah, we took a vacation to the astral realm. It was, a, it was a whole the whole thing. The ethereal, ethereal. Both. I think. Both. Did Both we? are not pleasant. Oh. No, they, no, it wasn't. What you got? Okay, well, I do have a slightly expanded section for you guys now. So do our level two. Ooh. Ooh. There are 17 levels. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can obviously do any sort of... Uh, I obviously have my old stock from before, and you see things like the boomerang ball. You see the pair of glowing spectacles. You see a haunted doll. Uh, a pair of boots with lightning bolts on the side, a large shield, a, uh, uh, a large kite shield with an eye on it, a uh, a couple of potions of healing, and uh, a small armory, like a forgery or something. Hey, what does that shield do? Uh, it gives you plus one AC when an ally within ten when within an ally in ten feet needs a round to rest if an ally leaves that space. Wait, hang on, so. If an ally is within 10 feet of me, I get plus one AC. Yeah. And then if they leave that space, I have to rest. The the shield needs a round to rest. Oh. It's um, so like the eye closes and then opens up again after a round. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, how much is that? How much, how much is that? 
Give me a second. Give me a second to get back to the thing where I... Moving back and forth between these. Uh, it is currently, I think, a thousand gold for that. I'll take it. Okay, so you buy the Shield of the Sentinel. All right, Shield of the Sentinel. All right, uh, yield, yield magic shopkeep. Uh, did, have you ever heard of the weapon, the, ma the legendary weapon, the Iron Kite? <laughs> what kind of what kind of armor would it, would would I be if I have never heard of the legendary weapon, the Iron Kite? Okay, well I have the shards of it because it it shattered on our little adventure, uh, and I oh, I had an idea. For that's you. terrible. Uh, would you be able to affix them to the end of my quarterstaff and make me some kind of spear with it? Uh, to mix success, maybe. I could probably make the sword again. I'm not so it's, you know, you got the piece. crazy interested in having the sword as much as I am having a spear. Right. right. A staff with the properties of. Right, but unless I smelt the thing down, which might get rid of the entire magical properties of it altogether, uh, I'm not sure I can make a really solidly working spear, if you catch my drift. So, here, mm. my my idea then, how about you take the sword and reforge it, you know, your forge welding, which of course would be very difficult to reforge properly without melting it down. Take whatever comes right, of Right, I didn't that, say it was going to be easy, it's still going to be cost. take this flat piece of metal and wrap it around the quarterstaff. Or shove it through the center of it, because, like, like, how a spear is made. Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, would you be able to just reforge the blade itself? The DM is not prepared for this. I didn't expect you to be, and that's why I figure, you know, shopkeep, it might take you a little while to do this, and I might just not have my, my spear or anything for a little while. I'm not expecting this item to be ready right this second. Uh, it might take a couple weeks. That's okay. I have yeah. time. Okay, yeah. and All fists. Right. <laughs> Fixing a magic item? No sweat. Cost, cost time, money, but usually I can get it pretty quick. This sounds like a big job. Yeah. Uh, it's probably gonna cost about 1,200 gold. Uh, hey, does anyone want to loan me, like, 200 gold? I have we... exactly 200 gold, so you can have it. Oh, red. Okay. So, you, I guess, hand over your quarterstaff and this item. Um, and 1,200 gold. And he says, uh, uh, I guess, where will you be in a couple weeks? Uh, hopefully back here. I mean, I imagine we'll make it back at some point. All right, I guess I'll just hold it around for you. Yeah, don't sell it. Whatever you do, don't sell that. Got it, sell it. No, 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 <laughs> that won't end super sell great for you. Sell it immediately. That, that, that okay. won't was a threat. end great for you. <laughs> it was a threat. No, no, I'm kidding. Pa I mean, he Paleus pushes, men old, pushes old men downstairs, uh, you know. Th threatens to murder them. Threaten, thre threaten um, shopkeeps if they do things. I mean, I, I feel a little bad leaving without a weapon for a while. Do you, do you want to, like, borrow something? Until, uh, do you have it? Oh, don't, don't worry, he borrow, doesn't like what? One. Like, what do you have that I could borrow? I mean, I've got regular weapons, and I've got this studded ball. <laughs> oh, actually, Man, um, it feels like I someone another question really wants for you. to use this studded ball. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest. That's actually all I have in the shop right now. Do you have anything that could, <laughs> uh, could jumpstart this, and I present him with Colonel Mustard? He's been kind, he's been pretty silent for a while. I wanted to get him talking again. Listen, a sword is not like a horse. You can't just jump start it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you wanted a horse jump starting repair kit, I could give you one. Ho swords, not so Hang much. Hang on, I got an idea. And I go outside and I cast and I put the I put the sword on the ground. <laughs> what? And I cast call lightning on it. No, stop that. There are people around. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody back up there's about to back be a up, lightning strike back up back up uh, I'm, actually i'm i'm I'm, hol I'm holding uh are you really going to do this in the center of town yeah this feels like a bad idea guys <laughs> yeah i gonna... mean the king would probably think it was pretty cool yeah the king would think it's oh invite the king you hear you hear clapping from his... <laughs> he's just looking out the balcony yeah he's hey. uh, i see him out the balcony i'm like hey watch this also, yeah. because the lightning's just going to go straight into the sword, like it's still scary. True, it's still a You're lightning right. strike. Like, <laughs> how many times have you walked past the lightning strike? Eh, Tuesday, just like whatever. Who cares? Regardless, I am going to do it. Yeah. I am going to do it. It's, okay. it's happening. 
Okay, so you do it. You scare a shit ton of people, including the shopkeep. <laughs> Most people go deaf <laughs> because lightning bolt just... <laughs> The the short the sword is crackling with light uh with electricity now um as it is kind of like jittering in place almost uh do you want to touch it yeah do it okay you take sixteen lightning damage okay <laughs> I'm imagining this okay. like ash picking up Pikachu <laughs> yeah. Um, you hear a voice in your sword, but it is just the sound of painful screaming. I think you hurt Colonel Mustard. Oh. Well, um... You monster. I'm gonna... Just in the background in Jiminy's mind. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's fine. <laughs> we got him back. He's okay now. I put, the, I put him back in his sheath. Or actually, no, <laughs> I walk the... over and like... Discharge the electricity somewhere. It I guess it charged into okay. your body a second yeah, ago. Yeah, like. you're right. You're right. Um, I just like imagine putting the sheath. It's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, hey, I, 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 I mean, I'm sure def getting defibrillated doesn't feel great. So, <laughs> what are you talking about? I do that every weekend. <laughs> Adam, do we need to have a talk? <laughs> I have an addiction and I'm taking control of it. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. But yeah, all right. That's that's all I that's all I got. Jimothy, you're gonna make me start having to worry about carry weight. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you have a you have like a sword, a hammer, a flail, another hammer. I think a, 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 a flail, a shield. crossbow, two shields, a fucking shield, two shields now. You're the size yeah. of like a five year old, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm three feet tall. <laughs> I, I anyway um i mean it's a good thing you don't have to worry about like moving very far because you are so small it's not like a big thing that you're about uh but yeah um if there's anything else you guys want to look at nope that's um, it i want to okay. tell the shop what is that cursed doll uh it is a doll that <laughs> okay so you walk and see walk up and see a doll that looks incredibly creepy um to everyone that looks at it it looks like them to some degree like they see themselves in it oh um that's unsettling if the own if the owner ever takes a th fails a third death save the doll will take the hit instead and will die in the own lace of its owner is it dramatic does it make it's it very like it? gruesome it's literally 700. substitution 700 700 gold hell yeah orgoloth wants to buy this doll that to him looks like a tiny doll of himself <laughs> yeah i'm sure orgoloth's okay. looking at this thing like what a beautiful doll oh my god like shop owner this is the most wonderful doll i've ever seen in my 180 years of existence <laughs> you're pretty old i mean years. i'm, I'm an elf. <laughs> that's fair he's a dwarf so <laughs> who's he to judge <laughs> um yeah, okay, so you buy the haunted doll, and uh, you're down 700 gold. Yep. Um, other than that, uh, is there anything you want to do in the shop? I want to tell the shopkeeper, don't worry about loaning me a weapon, because I am a weapon. The shopkeeper is very unimpressed. Uh. He's also I liked it. probably he probably just doesn't want you in here anymore because you did it's threaten so to murder weird. him. Listen, listen, I kid. I would be impressed with that maybe. I would be impressed with that maybe like ten minutes ago. But I just saw lightning hit a sword in the middle of the street, and the kid just picked it up. I right. mean, I, I think I think I know who's the who's the real weapon here. Right? <laughs> Get you and your tap out shorts out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, what? never mind. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> After after the brief emasculation of Phaleas, you guys decide to head out of the store. Um, a few weapons short, but a few weapons up. Um, you notice the familiar um, sound of a um, of a training room uh, in the in, um, nearby, uh, reminiscent of that first time that Slug Knight had you guys spar. Um, if you guys want to, you can return there. Obviously, you you do have permission to do that, or you can just return to the cart. Oh boy, I'm still dying from that last fight. I will just I'll I'll return to the cart. 
Timothy yeah, heads back to the to cart. cart. Yeah, Orgoloth is just gonna. He's returned to the cart without. Orgoloth like, will fight himself. So it's like also no, he's, he's gonna be uh, looking also, at the doll the whole time. Also, Jimothy, um, while we're traveling in the cart, uh, I'm putting the shield over Orgoloth's bed. Like I'm, I'm just like affixing it to the ceiling of the cart over his bed. <laughs> okay. Um, you get back to the cart and um, uh, when you walk up to it, it looks a little different than when you left. Um. In the the uh, the front of the cart has a, a matching wooden door like the rear entrance, um, and there is now no cloth on any part of the entire wagon. Um, when you get inside, uh, you notice it is even larger in in the in, uh, in the interior, uh, opening to a small entryway uh, that leads into a full size meeting room and a small interior kitchen. There's also uh, two more full size bed now located in an upstairs section up a little stairwell, and a small study. The Oh, never mind. I'm I'm going to affix the uh, the shield right over the stove, so that everyone can see it while they're eating. That's very uncomfortable. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Jimothy's not going to put it in his room. That would be creepy. So yeah, def- definitely uh, not something I would. But all right, if you want to just do that, that means that you're not going to be able to use it. I hope you know. Well, no, I mean like he's going to get it when they're not traveling. All right. That's just the place that he stores that shield now. Okay. I would also store all the extra shit you just don't use anymore. Yeah, yeah, I'll store the like I'll store the shield that I already have and the uh flail. So like is this thing like the TARDIS where like it's super big on the inside but it's That still was like the sized? joke we made. Okay. Chud Chud walks out and he's like, "Dude, your guys' cart is like amazing and gorgeous." Like I don't know what you did, but like this is like a, a like a traveling home. Like excellent job all around. You guys like definitely are like some of the chillest dudes I've met. Do you want to like do you want to like lift weights together sometime? Ogreloth immediately perks up. <laughs> like, Hell yeah! Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Just like a boner. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> his sword perks up. Like oh yes, let's lift. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I think that's the end of this week's episode. Um. Uh, as the cart starts to move along uh, towards Torrens Coast with the entire much more expanded and um, uh, much roomier cart in tow.